What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here again with Droid Life. So we've got some big OnePlus news this morning. Obviously, a couple of phones in front of me. We're going to focus on this guy, though, the OnePlus 8 Pro, because Android 11 Developer Preview 3 has dropped, and it brings, oh, it brings the features that we've been asking for. First of all, always on display, probably the biggest missing feature of OnePlus phones for, well, forever. Uh, and then we also get a dark theme toggle. We get some redesigns. We get a new font. There's actually quite a bit of stuff going on here. So uh, let's dive in. This is a first look at Android 11 on the OnePlus 8 Pro. So now while I have the OnePlus 8 Pro in hand, Nord is back here. We just may show you some comparisons just so you can see the differences because there's there's quite a bit of stuff going on. Uh, there have been two other Android 11 previews. I have not flashed those on these. So if there's changes that I point out, that were maybe there in the first two, that would be why. We're just taking a look at Android 11 here. Um, let's, uh, this, this is the important one. Let's just, let's just look at this right now. There it is. There is your always on display. Look, I haven't touched anything. We've got a clock. I know it's sort of hard to see. Clock, there's some notifications, pending and uh, battery status. The always on displays here, folks. Oh, it feels so good. OnePlus has needed this for so long. A uh, little history there. I believe the OnePlus 6 or 6T actually had always on display in pre-release software. Uh, review units had it. And then they, uh, well, they took it away. They uh, released an update on day one that removed it. They obviously had battery concerns there. And uh, they took it away. But it's back now. They, they told us this year they were, they were going to do it. And they have brought it back. So um, anyway, visual stuff here. Uh, there's actually quite a bit to show you. Um, I kind of wanted to dive into the always on first, but you know what? Uh, visual stuff. So they're, they're telling us there's a visual change to the launcher actually with this update. I'm not seeing that yet. I'm not sure if a launcher needs an update, but I compared to the Nord and it this looks the same. And long pressing on this, these options, all this stuff's the same. So I'm not totally sure where they're coming from there. Uh, but there's some other stuff that they're saying has changed in this build. Yeah, I guess I am now teasing the OnePlus uh, or the always on display stuff. So weather, the weather app redesigned. Um, they're doing this. It's very Samsung esque with one UI. I remember when Samsung did one UI and they pushed everything down when you first opened it, kind of give you this one handed experience. Phones are so big. They don't want information up in this top half. They want it down here in the lower half when you first open it so you can get to stuff. Again, Samsung does one UI one plus has totally gone all in on that with this latest build. So this is kind of the visual refresh. And again, I can I can show you here on this phone. So Nord is running just Android 10. So uh, you see that there, the, the weather has changed like this app in particular. There's big fonts at the top, bigger sort of actionable items or maybe the information you want to see right up front there. Um, and then you can scroll and get to more stuff. But again, that's that's kind of the idea um, here again is a look at the launcher. Like I said, I don't I don't really believe it's changed much um, in this uh, notification panel. We very much got Android 11 looking stuff. So when you first swipe down and see notifications, we've got those bigger sort of bubble notifications that Google introduced um, with the sections like conversations. Um, and then, of course, you get that that big new Android 11 OnePlus font up at the top. It, it, it is a new font. Um, OnePlus says their OnePlus Sans font has been changed to improve readability. So it's supposedly been tweaked, but you can see I've just got some additions there. We're we getting that Yeah. So anyway, um, if we dive in, though, into settings again, you'll see that visual change. Big old gap up there by the word settings, because, again, we're pushing things down for more easier one handed operation. I'm going to set this back down. So um, that's kind of the the theme here. Again, here were those notifications again, just kind of a, a an updated UI. It very much matches what Google's trying to do. So it makes a lot of sense. OK, let's dive into display. So display. Well, here's a look at just how settings have changed. Um, I just feel like everything's been tweaked, cleaned up, lightened a little bit. So ambient display, here it is right here. When to show, always on ambient display. So there's this, this is where you'll find all the settings for it. And OnePlus didn't really hold back. You can turn it off. You can have it on all day. And they're actually letting you schedule it too. So you can set a time that you want your always on ambient display to, uh, to show, which is kind of cool. I'm going to leave it on all day for now. That's really the only settings for it. The rest of this stuff in here is... Pick up your phone to show, tap the screen to show, contextual information, new notifications pop up on it, all of that stuff. So a lot of this stuff has, has kind of stayed the same. You got your horizon light for notifications, um, but that that's the big new one. Uh, that said, if you want to change the clock, 
you actually get out of here a little bit. And this is where we see another change. So in customization, there used to be, well, here, let's take a look. They used to have this really sort of confusing layout in here. So there was wallpapers and clock style and fingerprint animation. And then you had like the accent color and this tone option and then system icons and icon pack and you know the never settle font chooser. It was very weird, in including some of these presets. Um, and this is how you got to a dark theme. Uh, and then everyone complained and said, look, we just wanna be able to flip between light and dark. Can we not do this whole theming thing? And OnePlus actually listened and they've uh, they've added that. Um, so put this back down. You can see that tone and all that stuff is gone now. Um, and that's because there's actually is a dark theme toggle. Um, but you do have accent colors, so you can change those. But sort of that the weird combo of colors or light and dark theme, that stuff's all gone. But you can choose an accent color and change it um, throughout. You can still do your, your icon shapes and your icon packs. Like those things haven't gone anywhere. Your fingerprint animations, you can still change those. And then of course, wallpapers um, and then clock style. Um, but again, I mentioned there is now a dark theme toggle. So we'll go to those clocks in a second. We'll have some more fun with always on display, but let me show you this. So there is actually a dark theme toggle right here. So dark mode, you can see that right up top there. So instead of going through all those, those, those hoops to uh, to do this. Now we can just come up here, tap dark mode, and it flips to dark. Thank you so much, OnePlus. I mean, this is one of those features where like everyone else has been adding dark themes and OnePlus added a dark theme. They just did it in the most difficult, confusing way. So here's dark theme. It uh, It's just a toggle now. It's just a simple, simple toggle. So dark mode, back to light. Got it? Uh, I. I it, it, these are like little things, but they're they're so important. Anyway, uh, back into customization, customization. So clock style. So here's all your clock styles for your always on display. This is the default over here. Let's just, sh oops, I probably need to save that first. Let's just save and show you what that looks like. Very Samsung-esque. <laughs> kind of got the, the clock and the time over there and then it pushes everything to the side. It, it really reminds me of Samsung's um, clock style though. This is a new one. This is called Insight. And uh, you can see it's very colorful. Um, this is new and they introduced this with their Hydrogen OS, which is the skin they use only on, on phones they sell in China. So it says Insight. Every 24 hours, a masterpiece is created inside design together by OnePlus. And students from Parsons School of Design transforms time into a visual color bar, um, uses uh, devices, usage data, drives a pattern. So the more you use it, maybe the cooler that design will get. Um, if we save that and go to it, there is a, a colored thing. So that will change throughout the day, I'm assuming. So I'm going to probably leave that on just to see kind of what it looks like. Um, but, uh, there are some other ones like here's the, the clock with just wording. This is the sort of Nike watch and Nike Apple watch, um, clock clone there. Here's kind of some old school ones. Here's that one I was using out of the gate. There's some other analog ones, some minimalism stuff. Um, but again, let's just, uh, let's keep this one just to, uh, to see what that's doing. So always on display It it really is here. I, I, I almost can't believe it. And because I can't believe it, here's just, you know, another look at it. So you can still double tap and that'll wake it up and get you into this screen. And then you can interact with your notifications. Um, your fingerprint reader obviously is still a fingerprint reader. So very cool, right? Uh, we only been asking for, you know, like six years or something. What else is new though? So I showed you all the layout changes, um, which kind of look like this. Uh, the, this is the new font, OnePlus Sans font. They've added three new Zen modes. And to be honest, I've never turned on Zen mode. So uh, let's just dive in there. So Zen mode, apparently there's new themes in here. I, I couldn't tell you how to change a theme in here. I can, you can set modes and things like that and times and all that and let's go. I think it's just gonna lock everything down if I do that. So. We're not going to do that, but there are new uh, new themes in here. Uh, there's a new gallery. I showed you the new weather. The new gallery has uh, has been tweaked slightly. So again, pushed everything down. So you got a bunch of white space up here. They're supposed to show you uh, some sort of like uh, uh, a weekly story based on your photos. One of those has not been created for me yet. And you can see I haven't, I haven't used a pro in a while. I've been testing other phones. So it's probably like, dude, we're not gonna show you things from, you know, three months ago. Uh, so that's changed. And that's mostly it. I mean, this is the big visual overhaul, like this whole section up here looks new. Again, we have, you know, the bigger clock up top. Um, notifications are bubbly and Android 11 esque. 
Um, the dark mode change. Again, this is going to be great, OnePlus folks, to just be able to tap that and change it. I will say that the first time you update, you may have to tap the edit button and look for the dark mode toggle down here and then add it up there. Um, mine did not have it when I first updated. That's kind of it. I mean, there might be some other stuff in here. You know, you'll just see some UI changes like all of these settings UIs have been updated to just kind of match this new one handed idea. Um, here's the utility. See, they haven't like added new toys to play with. It's just kind of a visual thing and then the always on display. Here's the about phone. This has changed this layout. I mean, they still have the little minimal specs up here, but they've changed this it used to be a box grid layout. And now it looks well like this. So uh, I think that's mostly it. The gestures, the stuff hasn't changed. You guys have seen this before. Um, not sure what else there is to share. I'm just uh, very excited for the always on display. OnePlus phones, I really, really like the performance, the software, the update support, all that stuff I've really enjoyed. Uh, my issue has been those little things like a dark theme toggle, but mostly always on display. I just like to be able to look at my phone and not have to touch it and still see if I have notifications, what time it is, that sort of thing. And now... I can do that. So it'll come to a bunch of other phones. I'm assuming way back to the 6T will probably get this, the 7 line, uh, Nord will probably get this, but this is just an Android 11 developer preview, so this is not stable. You probably should not flash this, although it's pretty easy to do that. OnePlus makes this very, very easy. And you can see I updated and I didn't have to factory reset. Uh, going backwards though to Android 10, probably gonna have to factory reset. I'll leave a link below in case you guys want to uh, give this a spin, but... Uh, Oh, sorry, forgot one last thing. Uh, this was probably in some of the other Android 11 previews, but uh, we have the new power menu. Forgot to mention this since this is uh, Android 11, the new power menu looks like OnePlus is going to include it. I don't believe OEMs have to include this, but OnePlus is. So you have your emergency power and screenshot tools there. And then, uh, well, your smart home controls. So I can, you know, adjust my hallway thermostat and things like that if I want turn lights on and off and there's my shield so I can control that as well so the new power menu is here all right uh we are droid life peace